Dear friends, now in this video, we are going to discuss the another problem that is problem number three on the carburetor. Now, in the last few videos, we already started to discuss the different numericals on the dimensions of the carburetor. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss the another problem that is problem number three on the carburetor. So, to understand the problem, we will direct it to the notes part. So, with the help of again this notes part, we can understand this particular problem. So, this is the statement of the problem. A four cylinder four stroke engine having diameter and length of stroke 100 mm and 120 mm, which is running at 1800 rpm. Its carburetor venturi has a 28 mm of throat, assuming coefficient of air flow 0 0.8, density of air 1.2 kg per meter cube, and volumetric efficiency is equal to 75 percent. So, with the help of all this given data, we have to find out, determine the suction at the throat. So, dear friends, as usual, again, you have to read the problem carefully, and from the given problem, we can write the given data. So, let us consider again uh, here is the four cylinder four stroke engine, which is having a diameter and length of strokes 100 and 120 mm, respectively, which is running at 1800 rpm. So, let us consider again capital D that is the bore diameter that is equal to 100 mm and the length or stroke length which is given in the problem 120 mm. Again, the rpm of the engine or the speed of the engine it is given 1800 rpm. So, get convert mm into meter that's why 100 mm is nothing but 0 0.1 meter, 120 mm is nothing but 0 0.12 meter. So, similarly, the things are given in the problem. Its carburetor venturi has a 28 mm throat. So, let us consider the carburetor venturi or the throat diameter that is a small d2. Please, if you remember that particular diagram as we already discussed in the uh, derivation part, the same diagram which is applicable in this problem also. So, that d2 is equal to 28 mm and again conversion into meter that is 0 0.028 meter. Again, the coefficient of discharge of air that is C suffix dA which is given in the problem that is for air flow and the value is 0 0.8. So, we have written that CDA is equal to 0.8. Density of air is also given in the problem and that value is 1.2 kg per meter cube. So, let us consider rho suffix A is nothing but density of air and that is 1.2 kg per meter cube. The volumetric efficiency is also mentioned in the problem and that is 75 percent. So, write down the volumetric efficiency is equal to 75 and with the help of all this given data, we have to find out the suction at the throat. As we know, the suction at the throat means change in pressure of the air because initially at section 11, some amount of air enters at the carburetor body and at section 22, its pressure decreases and velocity increases. So, total section as we have to calculate in this problem. So, this is nothing but the change in pressure of the air. Okay. So, delta Pa which is unknown in this problem. So, we have to find out. So, again, we will see the different steps to solve such kind of a problem. So, first of all, we have to calculate this particular Vs as we already discussed the earlier problem in the last video. The similar kind of problem is there, only few things are different over here. Okay, so the V suffix says again we have the formula pi by 4 d square into L into number of cylinder. Okay, that is the displacement of swept volume. So, with the help of this formula, we can get the value of Vs. The diameter is given 9. In this case, whatever diameter is given in the problem, that is 0 0.1 meter and the stroke length is 0.12 meter, put that values and number of cylinder is equal to 4. After calculation, you will be getting the value of V sub X S that will come 9.40 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by 4 meter cube. After further simplification, you will get 0 0.0038 meter cube as the value of V sub X S. 
so similarly the second step in this problem that is uh, we have to calculate the actual volume per stroke so as we know the formula for this one that is volumetric efficiency into swept volume so swept volume we just calculated that is 0 0.0038 and volumetric efficiency is given in the problem that is 75 percent convert it and get answer and that will come 0 0.0028 meter cube okay so similarly the third step or the third thing in this problem which we have to calculate and that is nothing but actual volume circuit per revolution so the formula is again 0 0.0028 into uh, this particular rpm divided by 2 because here is the four stroke engine that's why we know there will be a two revolution of the crankshaft so that uh, this rpm divided by 2 because we are calculating for per revolution put the values and uh, the answer will come that is 0 0.042 meter cube per second because this is the volume so after the third step the next step that is the mass of air we have the formula of mass of air density of air into that actual volume circuit per revolution so we have just put it uh, here the same value that is 2.54 divided by 60 or you can just put 0 0.042 directly and ultimately we will get the mass of air that will come that is 0 0.05 kg per second so everywhere the unit is very very important and essential so don't forget to write the unit and sometime uh, there is a need to convert the unit also and finally with the help of this formula we have the formula of mass of air is equal to coefficient of discharge of air into a2 into under root of 2 rho a into delta pa again as we discussed uh, that two methods by taking the effect of compressibility of air or to neglecting the effect of compressibility of air you have to decide which methodology or which formula we can use according to the given data okay so use this formula according to the derivation and finally you come to know this delta pa that is nothing but the difference between the pressures and that will come delta pa is equal to 4292.76 newton per meter square so this is the final answer or the final solution of the given problem so hope you understood this problem in well manner so thank you so much for watching our today's session thanks a lot